tomorrow. So we start December, might as well get a little more snow, huh? Yeah. Well, Laura Spear with Anderson Japanese Gardens joins us in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. So you've been in hibernation for a bit, but you're back with Illuminated for another year. Barely, barely. <laughs> the yeah. season ended Working behind November. the scenes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. So Illuminated opens tonight. Awesome. So for those who have not been, what is Illuminated? You get to go to the gardens in the evening, in the winter. It's a garden you don't usually get to see um, at Anderson Gardens. And there's thousands of white string lights through the trees and beautiful uplighting um, in the kind of around the trees. Um, a couple of new features this year. Mm. Yeah. And there's food trucks and wood fire pizza and Rockford Roasting Company making hot coffee and hot cocoa out in the pavilion. Okay. So, so you, as you mentioned, you closed. I think what November twelfth, yes. or yeah, and, 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 and maybe is so it is like uh, <laughs> here. There's the thirtieth, uh, eighteen days later. You've already. I mean, your crew's been stringing lights. Then you have staff out there. What? How does this work? We've had um, staff out there. So our our staff also has to winterize the garden, um, mm -hmm. shut everything down, so that the garden is protected mm -hmm. and makes it to the next season. So they're busy doing that. And then doing the lights, and um, yeah, it's beautiful. And um, also, wow, we had some volunteers help us set up this year as well. So the the what is that called when the light just shines up? Uplighting. Uplighting. That is so unique because usually, of course, we have the string lights, which are beautiful. But I feel like Illuminated is one of the few in the area that kind that's, of lights like it's that. It's kind of what makes our event different than the other light displays that are around. You know, we don't have like the wireframe displays that you usually see. It's it's really working off the elements in the garden. Mm. So it accentuates the garden. So who decides we're going to light this tree purple, we're going to light this tree green, this tree blue? Is this all some sort of master plan or how does it go? Well, our COO, John, walks around with um, one of the vendors who helps us install the lights and they kind of make a plan together. And then, you know, the, the days, a couple days before um, we open the event, they're going to go around at night and look at everything and see if they need to do any tweaks or move anything around. Hmm. Um, and I can then, just do that, just like that, move, a, move, move on string lights on this tree and say, no, they look better on that tree and that kind of stuff. I'm not out there to witness it. Yeah, I, mean, I, <laughs> I know it's what you're doing. It's yeah. a little flurry of activity. <laughs> yeah. um, and, but, uh, but it is... It, and the other question I had is, Anderson Gardens, it, I assume there's some vehicles involved with stringing to the top of some of these trees, and uh, you, you have fairly narrow paths. How do you maneuver to get to uh, uh, as many trees lit as you do? That's a really good question. So most of the, the string lights that are around, the, those are in the deciduous trees that are a little bit shorter. They're not mm. up in the, the big sycamores yeah. that are like on the north side of the garden. There's yeah. nobody up there. But we do have kind of a fun event that happens um, every November right before Thanksgiving, the angels that get mm. dropped off. Those come in on, um, they get dropped in by a crane. Wow. Because yeah. they're tall. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. And there's one right behind the visitor center, so that's an event um, where just, we get to watch it coming in. Just watch it. Just the, the, the angel land. Yeah, the angels <laughs> landing in the back. So I noticed in one of the photos you have fire pits out there, too, so people can warm up and enjoy those treats and refreshments. It's a really popular feature. There's um, straw bales out. Everybody can sit around the fire pits, enjoy their coffee, enjoy their hot chocolate. Uh, the visitor center dining room is open, so when you come in, you can order your pizza, go look at the lights, come back in, enjoy your pizza inside oh. by the fire. You don't have to sit out on a curb or something. You can something. enjoy the lights <laughs> from indoor and out. Yes. How many fire pits do you have set up? Usually three. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, um, uh, you mentioned food trucks. You have food trucks. It starts tonight and every night through every the night. run through December, end so of December, right? The schedule starts tonight um, until December 10th. We run Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and there's a food truck every night. And then um, on the 14th, we'll go to seven days a week, hmm. and there will be a food truck every night, wood fire pizza every night. Uh, and only, entertainment too, correct? Entertainment, yes. So we have local um, carolers from schools, um, the public schools and private schools. This Friday, Boylan is performing on Friday night. Saturday night is Rockford University, singers from mm. their choirs there. Awesome. And they have their big choir concert coming up in a couple of weeks, so it'll be in fine form, a little practicing going I on. I think so. Well, we're uh, lucky we got on their schedule. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned uh, also some surprises, I believe. So we have a new event new, this new, year new attractions. on, on okay. Sunday nights. John Gleason, who leads um, our Garden Explorers through the summer, really good with kids, and he's going to be reading Twas the Night Before 
twice the night before Christmas, twice on Sunday nights, 6.15 oh. and 7.15. Is that included with the admission price? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Everything and is included with the admission. Okay, and so do they need, kids and families need to pre-register or John will take as many as are there, right? Yes, John will take as many as are there. Okay. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Six, and I assume that's in the... In, in the visitor center. In the visitor center there. Yes. From 6.15 and 7.15 On Sunday nights. Sunday night there. Is okay. the gift shop open this time of year for holiday shopping? Yes. Of course it is. Come in and purchase the <laughs> I have to ask. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you... That's one surprise. Are there? You said there are other. Well, we have a few new light features. Okay. Not, Can't give away too much. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I, uh, there is one that's it's really cool. And uh, when your crew was coming out last night for something, John said, "But they can't go over there because he didn't want to spoil <laughs> the oh, reveal." Oh. Okay. okay. We had yeah. a big reveal, yeah. <laughs> and that will that that reveal will be tonight. Tonight. Then, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. it's, yeah. We need, we want to add something new every yeah. year so okay. that guests have. A new surprise when they come. Yeah. Now, and once again, where do you get the? Uh, are you like looking at other lighted displays in Japanese gardens across the country to determine what you want to do, or is this just working with lighting companies that do this professionally? It's a, it's a little bit of both. John, actually, our COO, he and his family go every winter to different lights displays, and he comes back with ideas. Okay. He's scouting. Yeah. yeah. He is. <laughs> or stealing, whatever. Yeah. No, no. He's, in, he's finding inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we do have a lighting company who we work with, and like I said, it's really working off the the features of the garden. Mm. So it's it's just it doesn't dominate. The lights don't dominate. It highlights really. It highlights. It yeah. does. Yeah. It, it, those pictures are kind of are just a little sample of what you can see starting tonight. And what is you mentioned admission? Uh, what is admission? Uh, Thirteen dollars for adults. Children mm. five and under are free.